Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, renal agenesis, you know. But before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel, you know. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, uh, in that case, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And the link for the website is just below this video in the description area, you know. So once you click that link, it will take you to the website so you can find the information there, whatever you need. And please do not uh, forget to subscribe this channel for uh, more information, uh, informative videos, you know. Now I come to the topic, what is renal agenesis, you know. You know, the renal agenesis is a condition in which uh, the newborn baby uh, is missing with one or both the kidneys, you know. And the unilateral uh, renal agenesis which is also known as URA, you know, uh, is the absence of one kidney, and bilateral renal agenesis, uh, which is also known as uh, BRA, you know, it's the absence of both kidneys at the time of birth, you know. So it's known as renal agenesis, means the missing kidneys, you know. So well, you have one kidney, or you don't have any kidney at all, you know. Now, the both types uh, uh, occur in uh, fewer than 1% of uh, the births annually you know. and uh, the kidneys uh, perform the functions that are vital to life you know and uh, in healthy people the kidneys produce urine you know which uh, removes the like uh, urea liquid waste from the blood you know it's clean, it cleans the blood you know and keep a balance of the sodium potassium and other electrolytes in the blood you know and uh, uh, supply the hormone uh, erythro uh, protein you know so its function is that it uh, help to the growth of like red blood cells you know and they produce the uh, calcitriol you know which is known as uh, uh, vitamin d you know and uh, uh, its function is that it helps to absorb the calcium and the phosphate uh, from the gastrointestinal tract you know and uh, you know everyone needs uh, at least uh, uh, part of one kidney to survive you know and without the kidney and the body cannot remove the waste or water properly you know so this accumulation of the waste in the fluid can offset the balance of important chemicals in the blood and leads to death without any treatment you know so that's what the renal agenesis is, you know. The next thing, what are the signs and the symptoms of the renal agenesis? Well, both types, uh, unilateral or the bilateral renal agenesis, they're associated with the uh, other birth defects, you know, uh, such as the problems with the lungs or maybe genitals and the urinary tract and heart problems or stomach and intestinal problems, you know, GI problems, eyes and ear problems, bones and muscle problems, you know. So mostly they are associated with the other genital problems, you know. And the babies who are born with the uh, uh, unilateral uh, renal agenesis, which means they have one kidney, you know, one kidney is missing, you know, uh, may have the signs and symptoms at birth uh, in childhood or uh, uh, not until in uh, a later life you know so they may not have them, any signs and symptoms you know and if uh, there are any signs and symptoms they may include like high blood pressure or maybe a poor working kidney you know and uh, like uh, urine with the protein or maybe urine with the blood you know and maybe swelling in the face in the legs or maybe in the hands you know and the babies uh, which are born with the bilateral uh, or renal agenesis, which means that both the kidneys are missing, you know. Uh, well, they uh, usually they don't survive, you know, they don't live, you know. And uh, they typically have the distinct physical features that include uh, like widely separated eyes with uh, skin folds over the eyelids, you know, or maybe the ears that are set low, or maybe small chin, or maybe nose that is. Uh, uh, pressed flat and uh, broad, you know, and uh, maybe there are defects in the arms or defects in the legs, you know. So this group of uh, defects is known as uh, Porter syndrome, okay. 
and it occurs as a result of the reduced or the absent urine production from the uh, like uh, fetal kidneys you know and the urine makes up a large part of the uh, amniotic fluid you know that surrounds the, and protects the fetus you know so basically amniotic fluid is the urine of the baby you know okay and which, which is very important uh, uh, to protect protect it uh, during the stay in the womb you know it acts as a cushion okay and the next thing is what are the risk factors you know well the risk factors for the renal agenesis uh, in the newborn appears to be like uh, uh, multi-factor which means that it has multiple factors you know and this means that a genetic maybe it may be environmental or it may be like a, a lifestyle factors uh, they are combined to create uh, uh, the person's risk you know and the example like for example the uh, early studies have been linked uh, the like uh, maternal diabetes or the young mothers you know or maybe excessive alcohol use during the pregnancy you know so these are the risk factors of uh, renal agenesis you know and the more recent, recent studies uh, show the pregnancy uh, like uh, obesity uh, alcohol use and smoking to be linked to the renal agenesis you know and uh, being drinking or having more than four drinks over two hours during the pregnancy you know especially during the second month of the pregnancy you know it also increases the risk of uh, uh, the renal genesis you know and the environmental factors uh, that may result in the kidney defects like the renal genesis uh, may include like uh, um, illegal drugs you know exposure to uh, toxins or uh, other points that during the pregnancy you know the next thing is what are the causes well both the unilateral renal genesis or the bilateral uh, which means the ura or the br you know where one kidney is missing or both are missing you know when the they occur when the uh, uretic bud, which is also known as uh, the kidney bud, you know, it fails to develop at an early stage of the fetal growth, you know. And the exact cause uh, is unknown. And the most cases of the renal agencies are not uh, inherited from the parents and uh, neither they result from like uh, any behavior by the mother, you know. And some cases are caused by the genetic mutations and these mutations are passed from the parents who either have the disorder or they are the carriers of the, that mutated genes, you know. And the parental testing can often help determine if these mutations are present, you know. The next thing is about the diagnosis. How do doctors diagnose that the child have the, is suffering from the URA or BRA, you know, has one kidney or don't have kidney at all, you know. Well, it is typically found during the routine, like uh, prenatal ultrasounds these days, you know. And if your doctor identifies the BRA, it means the bilateral uh, in the child, you know, uh, they can use a prenatal MRI to confirm the absence of uh, both kidneys, you know. And uh, once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options is the next question, you know. But the most newborns with the unilateral uh, renal genesis have uh, they have few limitations and uh, otherwise they live normal lives you know? and uh, the outlook depends on the health of the remaining kidney and the presence of uh, any other abnormalities which are congenital deformities you know and to avoid the uh, injuring the remaining kidney and uh, they may need to uh, like avoid the contact sports you know or when they are older you know and once diagnosed the the, uh, the patients of uh, any age with the unilateral renal genesis uh, need to have their blood pressure urine and the blood tests annually to check the kidney functions you know that they are working properly kidney is working properly because they don't have any other choice you know they don't have the other kidney so it's very important you keep an eye on the health of the 
along the kidney, you know. And in case of the bilateral re uh, renal uh, uh, agencies, you know, it's typically fatal uh, within the first few days of the newborn's life, you know. And the newborns usually die from uh, like uh, underdeveloped lungs shortly after the birth, you know. And uh, some newborns with the uh, bilateral renal agencies, uh, they survive and they must have uh, a long term like uh, dialysis to do the work of their missing kidneys and uh, you know the dialysis is a treatment uh, that filters the blood and purifies the blood you know uh, with the help of the machines you know and they work as the kidney you know and maybe you maybe need to few times a week to go to the hospital for the cleaning of the blood you know for the dialysis you know and this helps uh, to keep your body in balance when the kidneys cannot do their job, okay? And the factors such as uh, the lung development and the overall health it determines the success of the treatment, you know? And the goal is to keep these infants alive with the dialysis and the other treatments unless they uh, grow strong enough to have the uh, kidney transplants, you know? And uh, the kidney transplant is the ultimate uh, treatment, you know. And, uh, you know, the next thing is what about the prevention, you know. Well, we don't know uh, exactly what causes, you know. So, prevention is not really possible, you know. And the genetic factors cannot be changed, so the parental counseling can help uh, the prospective parents to understand the risks of having a baby, you know. If they are carrier, you know, and the woman can lower the risk of uh, uh, this uh, problem by reducing the exposure to the toxins, uh, by quitting alcoholism or smoking, you know, and so this way uh, they can decrease the risk of uh, uh, the baby having the this uh, renal agenesis, you know. The, missing kidneys you know uh, and the cause is unknown so we cannot cure it and we don't know the reasons so it's really not possible to prevent it uh, but the end point is that if uh, uh, the infant or the child it has one kidney it can live the normal life uh, but uh, you need to keep an eye on the functions of that kidney you know throughout the life and uh, if the both kidneys are missing, which means that bilateral uh, renal genesis, uh, well, it's uh, uh, mostly the babies don't survive. And if they survive, uh, they have to go through uh, the renal dialysis on continual, uh, on regular basis until they grow enough to uh, further uh, transplant, you know, renal transplant. You know. Thank you very much. For watching this video and if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not uh, forget to like subscribe or share these videos to support this channel thank you goodbye